So, I am making a... <sighs> what am I making? I'm making something. A book. I'm making myself a sketchbook. So, I already got most of my... Uh, text block right here and I got the rest of the supplies I need to make my little sketchbook. I will link to C Lemon who makes wonderful uh, book binding videos that are just totally fun to follow along on. So this is me giving it a shot of my own and for this one I wanted to do something that was a little Halloween themed because you know it's October and I love Halloween so let's do it yeah I already got as I said I got my textbook block out and I also have my cardstock this one I don't remember where I got this um, I couldn't go to the craft store so I just ordered it off of Amazon and it was the wrong weight so this is very flimsy and so I'm going to have to double these up so that they are thicker. So I got my cardstock. And oh, I am going to use, to finish off my text block, I'm going to use this like cream colored textured paper that I got from Recollections. And I am also going to, I already pulled these out from the... DCWV, the Halloween and Fall Stack. Um, I did get this a few years back. Um, so I don't know what they have now, but there is so many gorgeous pictures. Yeah, just so many gorgeous pictures and patterns. And I can't wait to do more stuff with all of these. You know, it's having a space to craft is a must. So, I just figured all of this together just looked really, really pretty. So, yes, Halloween and Fall Stack. Totally recommend this. It's awesome. Get that out of the way. All right. So, I'm going to kind of speed along and finish making this. Oh, I do also recommend that you get um, some PVA glue. I have the pH neutral PVA and this, as you can see, ideal for book binding and paper projects. And this just, I'm loving this stuff. I wish I had found this sooner. I found this through the recommendation of Sea Lemon. So, totally, totally worth it. this called again text block there's my the text block so now what I got to do is cut out the uh, cardboard and so I can make the cover and I have My chipboard here, and I've already measured what I needed and traced where I got. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and start getting this done.
into that and then I just need to put some fun little decorations on it. So here is my final book. I couldn't find any embellishments beyond the ribbons that I really like to go with uh, the papers that I picked out, but I really like how this came out. You know, um, I will say that when you are placing your um, text block to make sure where you're at, because I kind of, um, I wasn't paying that much attention and I kind of off-centered. So I have all this up here now and you can see it's nice and close to here and not so much right there. But overall, I'm, I'm quite pleased with how, with how this came out. I love, 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 love this. And yeah, for a sketchbook, this is going to be exactly what I'm looking for. And I added this so that it makes it easier for me to, to go straight to where I am at. So, you know, if you make your own, definitely check out C. Lemon. She does a lot of book binding. And she is the one who, you know, uh, encouraged me to make my own. Happy Halloween.